Hi, I'm Tim Crellin, and welcome to How to Build a Character in Blender 3D by Pact Publishing. A little bit about me, I've been using Blender for five years now for both personal and commercial projects. So far I've published over 200 video tutorials online with many model assets, released eight different games and three different add-ons all within Blender. Blender is my favorite piece of software, not only because it's free and open source, but also how flexible it is. You can use it for almost anything. It has a fantastic community, amazing capabilities, and is constantly improving and getting new features. This course will consist of a complete overview of how to build a 3D character in Blender and all the different aspects of the software that we use to accomplish this. We will first learn about how to use and navigate around the interface of Blender. Then we'll get started creating our first 3D model from reference. Once we know the basics, we will extend upon this by modeling custom shapes to create our first 3D character. We will then apply a rig and shape keys to make animation easier before applying materials and introducing keyframe animation. We are going to learn how to create a skeletal rig for our character. Finally, we'll go over exporting our finished character to a video file that you can share online or with your friends. The requirements for this course are pretty minimal, just the basics of computer navigation such as downloading a file or unzipping a folder are expected. This course is designed to help you learn 3D from scratch, so if you haven't touched 3D before, that's completely fine. To use Blender, here are the minimum and recommended hardware requirements. However, any standard computer that isn't more than 7 years old should be fine. When we are creating models, we will frequently be changing the views, such as top view, left view, or front view. And to do this, we will be using the numpad. This course assumes that your keyboard has a numpad to use, here highlighted in red. However, if you are using a laptop that doesn't have a numpad, it is still possible to emulate one within the Blender settings. This won't be covered in this course, however there are multiple tutorials online showing you how to do this. To use Blender, you will need an operating system of Windows Vista or above, Mac OS X 10.6 or higher, or Linux. For this course, I will be using the latest edition of Windows 10, however Blender should remain consistent across all platforms. To make graphical rendering faster, it is recommended that your computer contains a graphics card or graphics chip. However, again, this is not required. Lastly, you will need patience. 3D is a big and complex subject and is often associated with a steep learning curve. We will be learning in small bite-sized pieces, rather than everything all at once. What we learn in one section will be built upon by the content in the next section, until we have a final animation at the end. By the end of this course, you'll have a really good concrete understanding of Blender and how it works. You'll be able to create and model your own custom 3D objects, and additionally, you'll also be able to create simple 3D characters and understand the workflow behind creating an animation. Finally, we'll also learn how to export a video or image file from a 3D scene using the render engine. So now that we know what lies ahead, let's get straight into the course. 